Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Well, let me just uh, do a little uh, do a little um, work here to get the uh, recording going. Oh, it's going. Okay, we're recording and we're streaming and we're going. And this is how it should be. No, I just mm. I was in the middle of eating. You got me eating. Uh, let me see here. Turn on the lights. There we go. Ah. Mm. Now I look all pretty as well. Hmm. Just came from getting my blood drawn. See? Hmm. Let me take it off here. Uh, I wonder if it's going to get black and blue. But I learned a trick. That if you're getting your blood drawn and you don't want your place where they insert it, right? To be... Um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? To be to turn black and blue. Okay. Looking at a whole bunch of stuff and it disorganizes my thoughts. Um, this will, what you do is you, where they inserted it, you push down and hold on to the spot, push down on the spot for like two minutes. And that will prevent it from getting black and blue. Or if it does, it's very minor in comparison to what it usually is. Anyway, if you can hear the background, you know, me and Brett. If you can hear in the background, you got air conditioner. Um, mm, let me uh, start admitting some people to the uh, to the panel, so that we can start uh, talking to all of you on a Monday. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hi there, everybody. How are you? Good. Mm hmm. Hmm. Doing what? Loading bread. Mm -hmm. So I had to rush back from the doctor. I always hate these. Uh, I always hate these uh, PSA tests they do for your prostate because I'm, I always, I always waited, always wait for a bad one, which I finally did start getting. That's why I had the operation with the prostate cancer. But this, um, this doctor said that. Uh, I said, well, you know, I said, the last couple, I've had almost a zero PSA. I said, um, uh, what are the chances it gets, gets higher? He said, well, it'd be pretty good only because, <laughs> you know, you're zero. So where else can you go? <laughs> but he said, I don't think it'll be anything questionable here. Here we go with Marjorie has joined us and uh, 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 Kathleen has joined us. She's obviously busy talking to somebody else beside us. <laughs> there we go. She's in California. Shecky's in Queens. Edward Berger is where are you again, Edward? Flushing. Flushing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, that's right. And Charlie Walls is in Texas, and Andrew Deutsch is in Ohio. Yep. I'm right. See him. And Len LaFrisco's out in California. Gee. I guess I'm not losing my memory, huh? It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, well, that was pretty good, actually. Uh -huh. Awesome about it. Uh, I went out and saw Shecky the other day, so who was betting who that I wouldn't? No way. Oh, man, I, I owe you money, hey. Andrew. Sorry. Yeah, hey, Charlie, give me your Venmo. I'll be sending it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We out. had a lovely lunch. We had a lovely <laughs> lunch. I, it's the first time I ever had pad thai. And then today I'm doing a crossword puzzle, and what word comes up? Pad Thai. Yeah. That place, I don't know, it's just a little, you know, it's a little, not dumb, but it's a little just off the side of the road in Queens, right? You, you wouldn't pay attention to it if you passed by it. It's really, oh, it's on the corner of Union Turnpike. It's not a... But it's very good. They're tasty. Really I... tasty. Thai food's wonderful. Yeah. So a, 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 anyway, we went uh, we went and had Thai food, and then we talked a lot, and then I went home. You know, it takes me uh, an hour to get there and an hour and a half to get back, and then we spend three minutes with each other, and I go home. <laughs> and I hugged him. And we hugged. We, we ne we've never hugged, have we? Oh, I don't think it ever happened. But we hugged this time because... Well, I, I started it. It was like, hi, Ben. Yeah, but the, the the feeling of of hugging was very important there. 
you know, um, because uh, we're allowed to now. We're allowed to now. Exactly. Uh, wait a minute. Hold a second. I got to get rid of the chat. How do I get rid of the chat? I screwed up on something. Here we go. Admit Steve Bender. Um, so uh, I uh, we had a really nice time. Marjorie saw the uh, the video of it. Right, Marjorie? Yes, I did. Yeah. And what <laughs> I said it looked like was two old men. Yeah. Car. I well, felt like I was watching the Kaminsky method. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I suddenly realized, Shecky, both you and I have gotten older. Well, you know, Alan Arkham, I think, was 87 when he decided not to do the second or third series. Wow. Wow. So, you know, oh. who, 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 who? Alan Arkin, who did, you know, who is the it? best friend of Kaminsky? Who is it? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Marjorie's answering the phone. What is it? Get on the it's, phone day? Half an hour on one line on the Zoom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's listen in here. <laughs> right. She's talking to her boyfriend. Right. Yeah, she's talking to her. Thank, okay. Thank you so much. Well, I bye didn't bye. have a dream. Bye bye. I did have a dream bye last bye bye. night that she dumped me. That was my. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I had a dream she dumped. Me. Was that an important call? It was Emblem Health. <laughs> oh, really? Again? <laughs> I, I don't even want to go into it. She she did something that shouldn't really happen this soon. She dumped. Yeah, into, we got a bad RX insurance policy. Well, no, but no, it's not that. It, it break, blame the government. It he, she fell into the donut hole. <laughs> Is anybody familiar with the donut hole here? Anybody? For seniors, that? none of them are seniors, Alex. Yeah, none. Well, no, wait, Charlie's got Medicare. Yeah, I am. I know it, it, they pay for something, then you get to a certain point, then they don't pay for it. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. You, until, you, you, until you spend a whole lot of money, then they pay for it again. Yeah, you thank hit, you, George Bush. Have you hit your donut <laughs> hole? I I might have because sometimes the medicine, and sometimes I pay forty dollars, and sometimes I have to pay three hundred. That sounds like That's the donut hole. Yeah. Is this somehow a tie into that uh, prostate test you were talking about? No, no. Yeah, yeah PSA. That's when you can't sell different, the commercial. Different donut hole. Say, oh, that's something else. Yeah. No. No. It, what happened with with Marjorie? This is interesting. Hi, Vernon. How are you? We're we're talking about uh, the donut hole. Uh, it, 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 she uh, called the insurance company and they said that the reason you fell in the donut hole is they not only count the money you spent on medicine, but the amount of money that the insurance company spent. Equaling the, 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 so the basically, price. So basically, what they're counting against you is the full retail price of the, of the medicine. And that's ridiculous, you know? I mean, it, it, it's uh, it's horrible, and I will forever. It, don't don't blame the government, Marjorie. They got the best they could get. Well, don't we're going to get a blame the Republicans. Don't, don't blame the insurance company. <laughs> blame uh, SAG AFTRA because they fucked us over. We never had that donut hole or whatever with SAG AFTRA. Yeah, you're right. We bought our medicine, and that was it. You know. Um, but uh, so she she's had, she been been on the phone all day to Emblem. I think you were on for an hour with the other woman. A long time. And I heard you at one point screaming at her. You know, <laughs> and it wasn't Emblem. You were calling us. Uh, they had Express Scripts was who you were talking to. So it's. I give know, up. I don't. I'm not using it. I'm just buying all my stuff through Costco mail order. Uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, and the reason I'm using Costco mail order is I don't have to pay a, um, what do they call it, deductible or whatever. At the beginning of the year, you have to pay. Deductible. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to pay that. If I don't have to pay that, everything's cheaper at Costco mail order without insurance. So, you know, uh, it, it's horrible. It's horrible what she's going through. And for, fortunately, Kathleen has no such problems, right? You haven't hit, you haven't, have you hit the donut hole yet? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something you do sexually. I'm going to hit the donut hole. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Vernon, hands up. He had his hand up on the side. I, I don't have a problem with a donut hole, but I have a problem with our local pharmacy not having enough employees to where they're closing on Sundays now. Wow. Really? Oh. Yeah. 
really oh boy oh boy that's okay. happening with the airlines they had to cut uh planes that's right planes. Yeah, yeah because they don't have enough people really same with, yeah. same with the subways they don't have enough people to man the subway cars the trains conductors well why is nobody going back to work because they aren't they getting three hundred dollars a month or a week not to work well, you can't get unemployment if you turn down jobs <laughs> correct yeah exactly uh, or if people lie about it city transit authority i mean if they call you up and say course. your old job is now available again and you don't take it you should not be able to get the 300 dollars or whatever correct lie you don't uh, but uh you know uh, what I did today. I, I took a uh, I I took a uh, a lift down to the doctor's office, and it was it, with tip and everything. It came to thirty bucks, and it was I didn't go that far. Uber and Lyft have gotten really expensive. Yeah. Yes, they have. Yeah, everything everything has. I mean, via, yeah. you noticed me. By, by the way, by the way, we, in, we went to Costco for the first time yesterday in a year, in a year and, and a half. A year and a half almost. The cost of meat. <laughs> mm. You know, I used to get like three New York State cut, cutlets for thirty five bucks, which was high enough as it was. It's now sixty dollars. Yeah, I can't afford meat anymore. And do they have self checkout now, or is it still? No, no it's still. Because mine is. Do you want to self check out? No, I want to go that way and let someone. Oh really? Check out. Well, Walmart right. out here is putting in a hundred percent self checkout. So yeah. now, wait, you know, wait, wait a minute. If you do self checkout, Jackie, do they pay, charge you less? Do they give you no. a break and no. no. And well, then I've to... got you know, and not not that I care about. Self check. I have no idea who that is. Let me just <laughs> mute it for a second. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, unless they're going to pay me less, I want somebody to check me out for crying out. I agree. Well, and in, in California, it's illegal to buy alcohol through the self checkout. So how are you going to buy alcohol at cost or at Walmart? But I'll if you have you, to do self checkout. I'll tell you what happened in a year though of not going. We forgot our protocols on doing stuff. On how to pack. I, I would take a <laughs> card, a card. We forgot how to pack. In which it was folded up and Marjorie would have the, the bag bags in the cart for the stuff. And then we would go to the Costco. I would open up the cart, pull out the bags, and then throw them in the cart and then put the big cart, my cart, in the uh, in in the shopping cart. Uh I forgot to do that, so we had no way to put our put our stuff, no bags to put our stuff in, and I had to pull it out, and you know. So there were things we had forgotten how to do at Costco. But I have to say, pretty much everything's the same where place it was last year. No, it wasn't. No, no, not at all. A lot of things mean? changed. What do you mean? What what, what changed? Well, the bread, well, the, a lot the, of them. The, the fruit has moved. Things the like that. The moved. The yeah. Fruit, the fruit was in the same place. The fruit, yeah, but everything else changed. The fruit was in the same place. Yes. And the sodas were in the same place. No, sodas moved. Sodas were in the same place. They were always some over in them, that corner. Some of them, they were in that. <laughs> no, the seltzer, which is water, was where all the waters are. Let's not talk about it. No, it didn't change that much. I knew how to find my way around there. You know, I mean, I was the one that found the toothpaste. I went up and down every aisle because it's been so long since I've been in a store like that. Yeah. And it was amazing how many titles of products that I saw that I could swear I saw on Shark Tank. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really little whether it was cookies or whether it was this or or stain remover it was all these little mom and pop names well in my uh in my coffee i use a thing called i think it's called super cream or something like that super creamer and uh there's no carbs and things like that and um they were on shark tank and mm -hmm. they didn't get a deal and now they're in an, every supermarket across the country i get this down at my little schlub because they get good, good PR just being on Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, what yeah. about Ring, Ring Doorbell didn't get picked up? And look at them. That Ring Doorbell wasn't picked up, wasn't it? Nope. 
No, wasn't. Well, they uh, they're certain they certainly are doing okay. You know what I where I screwed up though today? I really screwed up. I bought myself another echo. I, I told you to wait. I won't be happy. <laughs> Thank you, Shecky. I won't I won't be happy till there's one in every room in the apartment. Okay. And the bathrooms. And the well, one's going in the bathroom now. <laughs> anyway. Jesus. Anyway. No peace. <laughs> anyway, I bought my new one for $129. Oh. I just waited till today. It would probably have been, seventy dollars today. No, or it's a, uh, it's eighty nine, eighty nine dollars. Wow. But I mean, you know. So well, uh, what the hell? It's only money, right, Shecky? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, Shecky, Shecky's the, the term I think they use is loaded, but still, he will go the extra twenty five bucks, right? You want to save it? Oh yeah, but then <laughs> other things I just don't care. It's just weird. Yes, I'll be looking to save two dollars on this, and then piss away thirty bucks on something else, and not even think about it. Not even think about it, right? Right. But as so I, I can't explain it. As I said, Lyft has gone up, meat prices have gone up, <clears throat> fruit prices have gone up. The only thing that didn't change in price over the year and was the bacon. Is the same price. Yeah, but but I was reading. I was reading today that they can't get truckers to bring products to stores mm. so that's wow. adding to the cost of getting the product well, into a store well is it once all this uh the these uh, the, once all, all this runs out all this uh these subsidies and so on are people going to be rushing back to work and then there's going to be a glut of people available for work probably but when are they going to stop handing people welfare money the end yeah. of the summer no, is that it? New York is anyway. Lots, lots of states have have said. I've done on it a already. specific day in Ohio after the twenty sixth. Yeah. No more three hundred a week. Yeah. Okay. All right. The certain states have have said it, and then others. It turns out in some states, their state legislature, they, although they've said they're going to stop, it's illegal because they can't interfere with federal funds. Well, so I had no job. Many states are doing that. I had no job to go to. Why don't I get? You make too much money. No. What do you mean I make too much money? How do I make too much? You money? and Marjorie combined obviously well, make see. too much money. Uh, I, I'm going to divorce her so I can get all the, the <laughs> government goal, you know. Yeah. If you divorce she means she's my bitch doing a job. Yeah. Then no donut hole. <laughs> I'll keep the apartment, Alex. You keep the apartment good. We but Marisa told we have a little apartment for Alex when you know, when he becomes. I have a room. In, I have a room available to me in Queens. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He said that with hesitancy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just have to move the um, yeah, elliptical yes. out of the way. Oh know? yeah, the elliptical is, is taking up the place where the bed would go. Right. It'll fit. No, it, it will fit in between. Mm. I. I Done it before. Okay, so I'll be I'll be roommates uh, with an elliptical. You can move well, in. I actually Tony. have to buy a bed for that room. Yeah. Move in with Tony. Tony's got an extra. Room. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, Tony's got, got, got extra, the upstairs. Tony's got an extra here. room available now. Yeah, he's got the whole up second floor. Yeah, he'll cook your meals. And, and if, I, if, <laughs> I, if, I, if I get really sick, he knows how to take care of me, and I'll have a job. So there yeah. you go. You know, two you words, go. Alex: sponge bath. <laughs> By the way, just quickly, not to get political, I looked at the public school schedule for next year. Yeah. Guess what? Schools are closed on June 20th because June 19th is a Sunday. That's already turned into, you know, the Washington Day holiday kind of thing. Well, I, you know, it's I, a federal holiday, Chef. Yeah, it it's supposed year. to be on June 19th, and it's a Sunday, and that's that. Well, that happened now for the first Juneteenth, right? It was Saturday, but the federal holiday was Friday. Yeah. Well, we yeah, do but that here in the got States. Delivered. We do that here in the States. It's Lincoln I, I, or President's Day falls on a Saturday or Sunday. I think you take it on a Friday or Monday. But then why do you get a free day off if the holiday happens to be on a Saturday or Sunday? They do it all the time because they're federal. I know they do it all the time, but why? I mean, because I know they're why. federal days, they're counted as employees' days off. In, in employees that work for the federal government. They're legitimate days off. And treat you have a day off because it's on a weekend. 
Right. Having been a federal I, employee. I, I, I was much happier about this, Shecky, right. if you were a teacher or a federal employee. <laughs> I, I was talking I was. tonight <clears throat> to, um, uh, you know, Patrick and, and uh, uh, Kevin and um, Josh. Uh, we get together on Saturdays and just talk to each other. And I, I brought it up, you know, that I think that, and I think you would agree, Charlie, uh, as Charlie, yeah, yeah uh, with this, Juneteenth is a terrible name for a holiday to celebrate <laughs> anything, all right? Why yeah, didn't I they didn't call it, it, why, the most, the best name they could come up with? June 19th. No, it would be, it. would, no, it would be Emancipation Day. Of course. Yeah. That means. That would be a good day. And that could encompass a whole lot, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of emancipation. But Emancipation Day, that then that would have made that would have sounded a bit of a Juneteenth. What the fuck is that? But it's been Juneteenth for 150 years. They're not going to change it now. I mean, it, can I? Can, I hate to use the term, but is that Ebonics Juneteenth? I have no idea. No, it's not yeah. Ebonic. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's never been on my calendar until. Google. Two years I, ago, I never knew what it was. Google, never heard it of it. showed up on Google. I went, "What's Juneteenth?" You know, yeah. and, uh, and it's not that I don't think uh, holidays should be given to blacks, but they've already got basically two. They've got Martin Luther King's birthday. Okay, would you grant me that, Charlie? That that was a yeah. black holiday, a holiday honoring blacks. Okay. Oh, yeah. And somebody brought up that February is Black History Month. Yeah, but you don't get a month off of school. No, you don't get a month off for school, but there is an honoring going on there. And, and the short, the shortest month of the year. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess. And the coldest. Okay, so we owe them a day, you say, and that's by <laughs> Juneteenth, right? Of course. Now. We have a June day. Do we have a June day? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's called Black Friday. I don't think these are black <laughs> holidays. I think, you know, we all should celebrate Martin Luther King and emancipation of slavery. Well, I, 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 and we will. I agree with you, but I think it would have been better to call it Emancipation Day. I think June 10th. Yeah, but wasn't it still December of 1865 that it became like a federal law, even though June 19th, Texas. Well, they were, it's because well, they were the slavery. last people. The last, they were the to last. Get a, a contingent coming to them and saying, oh, you're all free. Yeah. You know, Alex, Alex, what's interesting is half the country mm -hmm. says, oh, Juneteenth, it reminds us that we need to go a lot further to help and equalize things in the country. And the other half are going, see, here's the proof. There's no more racism. See, they were emancipated way back then. We don't you know. I actually think we June have proof. Juneteenth wouldn't have happened if there wasn't such a thing as white guilt. OK, and that, you know, this is a white man's idea of how you solve a problem. The fact is, there's a lot more things you could do for blacks in this country than give them a fucking day, you know. But you know, it's going to be held over their head for years. Well, you want that? We gave you a fucking day, all right? <laughs> we gave you a day. Shut the fuck up. That's what half the country's saying. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But well, no, federal June... employees. It really affects federal employees. Everybody else just follows suit. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well, it affects state employees too. We get got we got all the federal holidays off. Do you? Yeah. Bankers, too. <laughs> well, the reason why people, we see what we did is we took two presidents, admittedly two white presidents, one of them slave, a slaveholder, who had birthdays that we celebrated, and we got the days off. And I always liked that when I was a kid because you got, we got the day off. Well, you got both days off. And so you got oh, a day yeah. off. And then about a week and a half later, there was a second day off. Okay. Yeah. So that was cool. Then they, and they, they, combined them. they wanted to make Martin Luther King's birthday a federal holiday and all the businesses go, well, we don't want to have to pay for another holiday, you know, because they've got to pay people when they don't they come in on a holiday. People. So they then combined them into President's Day and gave Martin Luther King's birthday its <clears> own <throat> federal holiday. And it is a absolute federal holiday. It's not, you know. But Lincoln's birthday was not a federal holiday; it was a state holiday. Yeah, it was a federal holiday too. Yeah. Not the oh. South. No, well, no, but I mean, in the South, mm -hmm. some states. Oh, who? What was it? They didn't celebrate Lincoln's birthday. And Correct. One other thing they didn't celebrate. Uh, Christmas. Huh? <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. I think it was fest Festivus. 
Right. <laughs> you know, that's what we're not we celebrating think. Juneteenth either. Yeah, all, all we all we whites should get together and demand that best of us be made a federal holiday. <laughs> For the rest you, of us. Do you think Columbus will survive this October? No. No, he'll be gone, right? <clears throat> but it, you know, Indigenous <laughs> People's Day. <laughs> yeah, that's what they called it last October. Yeah. Well, I always was bothered when I was going to school. I was always bothered by the fact that they said, uh, okay, here's the question. Who discovered America? <laughs> and if you didn't put down Columbus, you were... you. Uh, and he never set foot in a, on the continent. Right. Never never been here. Yeah, but I mean, it, it should be what Caucasian right. discovered, <laughs> was the first who discovered America existed? But he's Erickson. Italian. Does that make him Caucasian? Well, <laughs> well <if you're, laughs> let's say you're an the Indian Vikings. child. You're an Indian oh, child, Viking. and you're an Indian child, you're in school, and now they're asking the question, who discovered America? And he's saying to himself, well, how could they discover it when we were already, we were already here? here. Yeah. You can't discover a place that other people are living in. They discovered it before you. No, it's, like, it's like discovering a band that, you, you know, <laughs> the records are in the record store, you've just discovered it. You've just discovered it, yeah, <laughs> right, right. Well, and his directions were so far off, he thought he was in India. Yeah, <laughs> it's like like a rescue animal. Did you really go into a burning house and save its life, or did you just go pick it up at the at the panel at the pound? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I always I always was bothered by that. Who discovered America? Yeah. yeah, you can't discover something that's already got people here. And again, he never was in America. Right. No. I think, it was the island. So wasn't it a I, Caribbean I he, island? To, to he Republic, Republic, I think. On his second yeah. trip. He was in Hispanola or wherever that was. Yeah. Yeah. No, That's he, close he, 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 took, he took a second trip and he did come to the United States, what is now America. No, he was never in the, what no. is now really? the United States of America. Second trip, second trip was in the, in the Caribbean, too. Oh, really? That's what I thought, yeah. And we named the country after Amerigo Vespucci, who also I don't think was ever here. No, he was uh, in South America. But we yeah. don't give any credit to uh, what's his name, the Norwegian um, Eric Eric, who yeah. did come here. Leif Eric, yeah, yeah. But, well, print the legend. Well, let's yeah, see. yeah. Hey, at, after, what, let's see. America is named after Americo Vespucci, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Right, and not, but it's uh, Leif Erikson is close enough. We could say Erica. Just call it Erica. Don't call it America. <laughs> call it Erica. America. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I love history. It's all, it's all, history is written it's by. It's who those. lived to tell the legend again. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just how it goes. Well, it's like the old what thing from uh, the man who shot Liberty Valley. Plus, I'm saying, print the legend. When, when, yeah. Yeah. It, when, you know, when you get faced with the truth, print the legend. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's just. So you know, home. again, I think I was telling you the other day, I was reading that book about George Washington. He brought all his slaves from Mount Vernon to build Washington, D.C. Wow. Mm. wow. And, and um, that's, uh, he, he did do that, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Uh, um, John Adams did not have any slaves. Thomas Jefferson had lots of slaves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he was fucking one of them too. Yes, that too. <laughs> uh, Sally Hemings became the toast of Paris, didn't she? I don't know, but she's getting her own federal holiday too in a year or two. Really? Hemings Day. Hemings Day. <laughs> anyway. We're um, going to rename the Jefferson Memorial after her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello there. Uh, 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 I want to say something. Oh, yeah, yeah yes, uh, Vernon. A little interesting trivia about George Washington and his slaves. Uh, <clears throat> when he was commuting to Philadelphia, he could not keep his slaves there for more than six months. Right. Otherwise, they would become free. So he right, would so only he keep would, them there for six would, months and then take them back in to Mount Vernon and bring a different batch in. Yeah. Really? Wow. That, was, that was the law, huh? It was, that was the law, law. In Pennsylvania. So he would bring, let's say, 50 slaves, and then after a few months, have to send those 50 back to Virginia and bring a different batch in. Wow. wow. And then when he died, he freed his slaves, but his wife did not free her slaves. Wow. <sighs> Scott. Good old Martha. Scott sitting out in his backyard, which is really nice, and it's bucolic, and it's oh. wonderful that he's sitting out in his back 
uh, uh, yard in Texas. But my question is, how the fucking hot is it? <laughs> he had a front come through. It's only 75. Really? Yeah, it's not. Nice. 75 here. I know. Right. It's, coming. it's coming, Charlie. It's coming, all right? But no, it's it's just real nice. And I thought, well, I'm going to sit outside and enjoy it. But We had a small... When I went out today, it was like 82, 83 degrees, but it was no humidity when I was outside. Mm. And while I was in the doctor's office, the humidity amazingly appeared. Mm. You know. It, it so rained good. here last night. We had rain. Really? Where, uh -huh. really? I tell my friends, God hates you guys, but he loves us. Well, how, <laughs> how hot was it up there? In when it was real hot last Thursday, it was 86. And when we were in Santa Rosa, it was 110. I had 109 here. So, yeah. But let me ask you this. You're on the, you're on the coast, coast right? Yeah. Yep. Does cool air come in from the ocean, though, and, and kind of keep Yes, all the time. All the time. So that even on a hot day, you don't really have humidity. Nope. We just open our sliding glass door, and then, I mean, it's just all ocean. Yeah. Everybody drives to the coast. Yes. The yes. town was packed this weekend. All mm. of a sudden, Friday, all of us riffraff are like, ugh. <laughs> but we're funny. happy because the town has opened back up and you know the small businesses which are all mom and pop we absolutely want them to be successful yeah of course yes. you root yeah. for your root for the home team absolutely yeah yeah well one thing about her place though is it's really nice but getting to it by the time you get to her place uh, <laughs> you're, na you're nauseous uh, because <laughs> the road is like this you know just one curve after another, right? Yep. I remember when we used to drive up there, you would look at my head. I had one of the early GPSs. You would look at the GPS and say, curve coming up, curve coming we up. We tell you, yeah. So, so we did this at night, so I knew where the yeah. curves were as we were going. It, it That road is not, there's not, you, you can't go uh, 200 <laughs> feet without it doing another curve. Yep. Yeah. It's really, but it's nice up there. It's really nice. And then you're really close to the marijuana crops. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the Emerald Triangle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Brian? Good. Yeah, are you losing any employees because they're deciding not to go back to work or stuff? Or uh, No, no, but we're still trying to find a lot, especially engineers right now, because we have so many, many machines we're trying to put together and get qualified. So that's the hard part for us right now. So yeah. How, how is Maybe I should come out yeah, let me come ask you part. because you create testing equipment for COVID and other other diseases. <clears throat> and this probably had to be a, a windfall for you as a company over the last year and a half. I mean, one of the few companies that probably maintained itself and also advanced itself during that time. Oh yeah, we're still rolling right now. But 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 now with everybody getting the vaccine, is that going to slow down for you? No, no. Okay. It won't, it won't slow down. People still need to be tested. So, and, and we're global right now. So, yeah, e even if the window closes, when I used to run the manufacturing, we had, we had about 20, 25 assays that we ran, different, different products. And all those products we've stopped because of COVID. So, wow. even, even if we only do half of the COVID or, or a third of the COVID product that we do now, we have so many products that we still have to get back to running, like uh, yeah. tuberculosis for Africa and all these other projects. Mm -hmm. uh, where we still have a full menu of stuff that we stopped building since COVID because it was all hands on deck. So yeah. we're going back to all that other stuff. Let me ask Jeff: uh, Are you at home in Connecticut? I'm in Georgia. That's what I thought. Oh, because it's so I have to be very uh, cautious about what I talk about. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, obviously the rules are a little different over here. Yeah. How That's like Georgia. That? We're down in Georgia. Gee, Atlanta. Uh, what's her name hasn't called today? Yeah. Man Mandy. Yeah. Ma Mandy. But if she called, we would have two people calling from Georgia. I know. <laughs> what, what? Why do you go down to Georgia? You got some kids down there or something? Or? My, my daughter, my sister is having surgery uh, this week. Oh, okay. Anything serious or just? Uh, yeah, some serious, but she's had it once before on the other side. So it's a hip side. thing. And uh, it's a, it needs a lot of recovery. No. And, uh, so Pam and I are going to sp spend about three weeks 
Really? Trying to help her out. Yeah. How nice of you. Well, she did it for me. How did you go down? Did you drive or fly? No, we flew here. Yeah, yeah. Who needs yeah. her? Pain in the ass, but you know. Yes, pain in the ass. Did you rent a car? No. No, no she has a car. Because I hear that's the other thing that's gotten very expensive. Yeah. 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 Is car rental. Who said yeah? Who's been car rental? I did. You did? How, how is it? How bad is it? Uh, I Well, it was at least double what it was the last time I rented a car. Yeah. Double? Yeah. Well, you Hawaii, can't Hawaii find was a car. Like, yeah. Hawaii is like four it. times. Yeah. Hawaii was like four to five times. When I went there be, at, during spring break in April with the kids and Tiffany, they what they did was because of COVID, they took all those cars off of the island. Because there's no um, use of, of you know, Hertz having, you know, 500 cars on the island when they don't need them. So they took them off the island. All of a sudden, when people were going back, there are no cars. So I was doing 200 a day. Oh, my, my God. 200 yeah. a day? 200 a day for a midsize, yeah. Ooh, wow. wow. It's almost cheaper to buy a car. <laughs> yeah, I was going to buy one and sell it before I left. <laughs> no. no, because I, yeah. uh, I heard, you know, it used to be, what I used to do is I used to rent for uh uh, a week uh, because yeah. if you if you rent for a day it's, it's cheaper to do it by the week it, it's you know it's like i want a car for a day okay that's gonna be 300 dollars. oh uh, but if you take it for a week it'll be 250 <laughs> i said per day and they went no for the whole week i never could understand that no. and car, cars right now Cars right now are going up too because of the the whole chip shortage and they shut some plants down. So I've been looking for a exotic car right now and they're, they're still pretty peaky. So I'm going to wait a few more months. Your exotic car? Okay. Yeah, a what, toy. What's an exotic car for you? Um, well, I, can see, the, I can see in back of you there's a Ferrari fly. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I looked at those too, but uh, yeah, either Ferrari or a, a McLaren. I really like the McLarens right now, but I'm I'm selling off a couple of my cars too, so yeah, I'm not that rich. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't owned a car. I told Checky this. I suddenly realized this. I haven't owned a car since we came out from California. What, two thousand three? Two thousand three. Yeah, two thousand three. I haven't owned a car since two thousand three. Uh, so that makes it eighteen years. I haven't owned a car. Wow, mm. you know, and now I wonder whether I can drive or not. Yeah, sure. he's gonna let me drive his car one day, and I'm gonna just take it <laughs> off and see if I can still. I see thought it. you were gonna do it last week. Uh, he or, he said no. I said, "Do you wanna?" He's like, "Meh." Not today. I uh, you know I wasn't ready. Uh, plus, uh, so, you we, so we walked to the Thai place instead of driving down three blocks. You know, well, the walk was nice though. That was my daily walk, which I don't normally take. I'm taking walk in two days now because I've had so many things I've had to do. But uh, uh, it, it, you know, um, you with the with the car, I just worry about it because uh, you know your car is how many years old? It's, it's a '95 Toyota. '95 wow. Toyota, so it's 26 years old. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 26 years old, and I'm afraid I get behind the wheel of the car, and that would be the end of the life for that car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, then I'll you, get a new one. It's, no, but it, it's it's kind of like an old lady. As long as you've lasted this long, you don't want to run her over. You know. <laughs> well, I do so little driving. It only has sixty thousand miles on it after all. Wow. Well, oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Wow. You, you, well, you, you say I drive. I pick you up at the subway. That was my driving for Saturday. Well, you remember that old joke about them selling cars by saying, uh, oh, you know, um, we're down to four people watching this. I got everybody <laughs> hang up and watch this. Okay. <laughs> I'm, one. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. So there's only three. Uh, really? What, what happened? I don't, know. I don't think Facebook tells everybody that you're doing a show like this. No, I don't get any kind of notice. Yeah. Did you used I, to? I, I do. I, I yeah. used to, yeah. I do. Hmm. No, I got no notice. I just figure it. Maybe he's back from the doctor. I'll I don't care. Log in. I don't care. I like this group. You know. Yeah. Yep. If you had four at night, you'd probably have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I it, it. But I'm doing this on on Facebook, and somehow Facebook has changed something because I used to get a hell of a lot more for this. When I turn around after the show's over, and I. 
post it to uh, YouTube, I get some good numbers on it, you know. But uh, very strange. What I did, I had an interview I did with Bobby Slayton on the uh, Thursday show. And I decided, oh, what the hell, let me just post this on the Facebook page for the Quake fan club or whatever in San Francisco. Oh. And I got like 200 viewers. Just boom, oh. like that. You know, so maybe I might start posting the shows everywhere else but where they're supposed to be. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody pays attention to an old man anymore. But, um, um, so how uh, it was? Uh, it was a. It's getting to be kind of nice out there. I found today. I got into the the lift with my mask on because uh, they say make sure you're wearing a mask. You know, and um, I so I had a mask on. The guy said, "Are you vaccinated?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Take off the mask." I go into my doctor's office. You got to wear a mask. As soon as I go in to see my doctor, he says, "You're vaccinated, right?" Yeah. Take off the mask. It's like. Being vaccinated gives you special gifts and prizes now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we went to Great America yesterday, the amusement park, and uh, there are still about, maybe about 25% people that were masked up, but everybody else, yeah, no mask, pretty uh, crazy when you're out. People yeah. in the city are still wearing masks. Hmm. How, how are the crowds there, Brian? Was it bad? Yeah, it was packed, yeah. Yeah. Really? What, uh, the streets today were a little packed, a lot more. So well, it's a work day. No, yeah. but I, I really liked it. I really liked the, uh, I got to admit it, I, I like the pandemic because <laughs> the streets were empty. Mm -hmm. the, the Times Square, do you see tourists? No. Everything else was empty too, Alex. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I. I my, my son went to, went to work uh, last week. Yeah. First time he's been there for like a year, hmm. and he goes in the office. He's the only guy there. Nobody's <laughs> there. There's no one there. He goes, "This is not so bad." Marjorie, you pretty much go to an empty office, don't you? No, well, there's three of us. It's right on a Tuesday and Wednesday when I go in there. There's three of us. Oh, they, but you're there. Uh, you're there, there. When they're not traveling, yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, are there, are there a lot of travel uh, in and out of China still, Marjorie? They haven't gone to, to China. They only travel now within the U.S. So the problem with oh, traveling really? to China, in China, the the colleagues in China don't travel outside of China either. They well, travel within. Well, I hear the main reason is that if you leave or if you're coming in, it's okay. You've been vaccinated. That's fine. But you've got to quarantine. Got to get a China vaccine for two weeks. And you got to get a Chinese vaccine. And then you have to sit in a hotel for two weeks. Yeah. Sounds like fun. I wonder, I wonder if, if, you, if you have a vaccine. Okay, we took the vaccine. And now you come along and the Chinese say, you got to take our vaccine too. How they did. It? I mean, a colleague, two colleagues of mine had, had the U.S. vaccines um, and had to get the China vaccine in Hong Kong and then sit in the hotel for two weeks. I see all their credit cards, so I know what kind of food they're ordering up every day. <laughs> <laughs> they have to, if you want to do business for even like one day in China, you got to spend two weeks in a hotel, right? Yeah, exactly. And you can't leave. It better be worth it. Mm. And then if you leave, do you have to go back into quarantine again? I don't know, but I, I think I think if you, you've got the, the Chinese vaccine, you're okay. I asked a colleague in Hong Kong, they're still very slow getting the um shots really wow bitch. oh well you know crazy um but uh um let me see here yeah yes jeff so uh in atlanta i we went out to dinner mm -hmm. and uh you know we've been trying to go outside mm -hmm. rather than go inside to any places but Nobody there had a mask on. That's Georgia. Inside <laughs> or outside? Anywhere. They don't care. It's starting to get that way here. I was at, in places and one out of ten had a mask on. Yeah. And during during the 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 problem, it was hundred percent with masks. No 
Yeah, but I don't think the percentage of people who got in, been injected in, in Georgia is very low. But what I, what I have a problem with is, okay, they say in New York, okay, you're, you're, you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Uh, and yet, if I go into a pharmacy room, I got to wear a mask. If I go into a, a supermarket, I got to wear a mask. Uh, wh wh why haven't these things changed? I mean, they're you know, if you don't have them, if you don't have them, no, it depends on the owner, Alex. It's if, up to the place of business. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you have the vaccination, you should be able, you know, to not have to do the whole damn thing. I don't yeah, know. but the look, you you go to Costco, right? We didn't have to wear masks in there, by the way. You don't have to wear a mask. They, they but, said you're, if you're not if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. But they also don't ask you for your vaccination card. No, they don't. There's but, no proof. But then again, if I'm vaccinated, how am I going to catch it for somebody who was lying? Yeah. Well, let's see, it, let's see what only, the infection curve he, looks he's like. You're only going to give it to somebody else who was lying. And you know what my attitude about it, that is. You can fold that five ways and put it where the sun don't shine. Tell them about the, uh, about the driver we had for Lyft yesterday. Didn't have a, he didn't want to get a vaccination. No. And he's not wearing a mask in the car, and neither are we. Can and we just assume well, I'm not he vaccinated. Vaccinated. I work in a hospital and I'm not vaccinated, say he. And I'm going, hmm. what? <laughs> you know, because I don't want to, it's just a way to make the, uh, the, uh, these companies money. Money. <laughs> so. <laughs> But you're not you're not paying for it. So what I'm do you? Pay, I, yeah, that's well, what that's I said to him. You're not saying. paying for it. We said so. You know, I mean, <laughs> there are very few things in life anymore you can get for free, and this is one of them. Get oh. it? You know, <laughs> that's right. But uh, yeah, I, twice. But we, we, I was, I was fascinated by his reasoning in all of this, and then when he says he works in a hospital, you know. Uh, I, I, he's in administration wow. or something like that, but I mean, of all the places, I mean, it, you work in a hospital, you're probably the first one who could get a shot if you wanted it, you know. So it was amazing. It's like doctor's wife, you know, syndrome. The guy's she's married to a doctor, so she knows what you need for health care. Mm. I just got a note thing on my watch. It says breaking Medicare health care. Yeah, enrollment an is now at an all time high. high. I got the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Medicaid, right? Medicaid. Not Medicare, but Medicaid. Medicaid. Yeah. Everybody needs their health taken care of, you know. Everybody needs health care. Uh, so uh, how have you been, Steve Bender? How are you? I am good, thank you. Um, you know, I've been um, swimming every morning now for the past couple of weeks and <clears> hit the jazz clubs at night, so life is... Um, Better. Where, where do you hmm. where, where do you, you you go swimming? How many? What do you do? How many laps do you? I don't. You know, I don't count them. I just swim fairly slowly and meditatively for forty five minutes early in the morning, like six forty five in the morning. I think I remember how to swim. You don't forget. <laughs> I don't you don't forget. Long you had to swim, you know. But uh, uh, I think I still know how to swim. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm not going to drown if the ship sinks. Yeah, no, daughter took us out for Father's Day. We went to the Brooklyn waterfront to hear a concert. It was lovely. So, yeah. By the way, I, I did you, Marjorie? Did you miss not having some kids saying to you Happy Mother's Day? No, it was fine. It was fine with you. It was Yesterday, fine with me. I had the first kind of feel a nudge of gee, if I just had a kid, somebody be wishing me a Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Yes. Um, but it's uh, uh, so. Uh, oh, they'll wake you up at six o'clock in the morning to say Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get it over with. Or they make you drag them to Great America, the last place you want to be on Father's Day. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, is there anything that's been going on that's important to talk about? I mean... Yeah, elections. Well, here in New York, nobody cares about I it. I don't mean mayor. I mean what's happening across the country. 
Well, those are, yeah, but they, that's. Uh, but that's not happening across the country tomorrow. No, I think there's no. 18 QAnon believers that are running for Congress. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> which which is good. We need that woman who the woman who resigned in California because she was having a threesome has said, "I think I might run again." The House of Representatives or whatever she was. So why why did she have to quit because she had a threesome? I don't know. I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, they found out she wasn't good at it. I mean, because one of, one of the three was a goat. I'm sorry. She looked like she was pretty good. At it. No, I mean, it's like, you know, I mean. Well, I guess because one of the three was her assistant. So isn't that kind of what Cuomo is accused of, even though, I, you know, that kind I of thing? Yes. I don't know. I just think that uh, the worst uh, thing that can happen to you uh, is uh, uh, if, if you have a threesome, is. Um, Chap hands from all the high fives you're going to have to be doing. <laughs> that sounds like the old Rodney Dangerfield joke, where he says he likes to go out with two women. So when he falls asleep, at least they have somebody to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, how's everything in Ohio? Is it uh, is, is it getting back to normal? It seems to be. I mean, it's uh, people people are actually going out and doing stuff and getting together and. The vaccine levels are pretty high because of the, the lottery. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. It took a lottery for you guys to get the shots? Yeah, a million, million dollars if you got the shot and oh, your wow. name got picked out of a hat. And and just to be clear, in case you guys are wondering, I, I didn't win. Uh, here, here in New York. And although I did I did get tickets to the amusement park at Chernobyl. It, it got glowing reviews, so I'm going to go check uh, it out. Glowing. <laughs> 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 uh, I, been crowded. Who, whose dog is that? Mine. Yours. Oh, okay. my, my new puppy. Your new puppy. What kind of? Yeah. Puppy? He's giving you glowing reviews. What kind? He's a poodle, <laughs> a standard poodle. Really? Oh, big guy. Yeah. yeah. Jethro. Do you go get him one of those frou frou haircuts. Or you just hell him no. Him? I'm I'm giving him a I'm giving him a mohawk. He's going to be a punkle. You just no. <laughs> you just let him go full poodle. Hey, come here, buddy. Here, hold on, I'll introduce you. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Let's induce him over here. There we go. Oh, 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 that. Bad. Yeah. oh that's it. That. Believe it or not, he's only 13 weeks old. Wow. Ah, yeah. How big do they get? About 55, 60 pounds. Wow. What a beautiful little dog. And so you're not going to do the haircut thing or anything. No, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep him trimmed. I think those poodle, poodle cuts are ridiculous. Why do they do that to poodles? For show. Right. Because it's fun. Say hello. Well, I mean, could you, they take can. A, could you take a poodle, put him in the Westminster without a haircut, <laughs> and have a chance of winning? Or do you have yeah, to? Well, have you know, to it's, if, you're, if you're following dogs, everybody and their brother wants a poodle mix. There's Labradoodles and all these crazy mixes, these basically an extra $1,000 for a mutt. And you ask somebody, well, why do you want it? Well, I want a hyperallergenic. I want a smart dog. I, I got him because they're, they don't shed. They're smart as hell. They're friendly. And they don't scare the shit out of the neighbors. Mm -hmm. So my last dog, my last dog, I, I, I spent more money replacing underwear for the neighbors than anything else. Now, uh, so, it, it, uh, it, and I don't have hair tumbleweed in the house anymore. White House. They lost their dog. Yeah. yeah. Which one they did lose and lost? Uh, Champion. Huh? Champ. Champ. Yeah. The 13 year old. The 13 yeah, I'm, year old. I'm waiting nice to hear from Q to find out why he died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, the other one, a major, is it? The one who bites bite. everyone. He's the biter. Bites everyone. That's the one you thought would have died first. Somebody would have killed him. He's just them. a puppy, Alex. He's just a puppy. Does that give him yeah. the right to nip at people? He has to be trained. Yeah. And also, he's got him, got them running around the lawn at the White House. See, the White House is wonderful, these dogs, because, and she, she was saying it, um, his wife, uh, Mrs. Biden, uh, Jill. See, I finally got around to the name. <laughs> uh, Jill Biden uh, said that uh, they have so much room to run around. And I'm thinking they have so much room to run around and crap on the White House lawn. Mm -hmm. yeah. And who is picking up that crap? 
Secret Service, service people? What? <laughs> and do the dogs get Secret Service protection? <laughs> they do. Well, it's a branch of, of Space Force called Poop Force. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see they did something for Space Force this week? They sent up a, a, a rocket today for Space Force. I didn't. I thought Space Force was just a, uh, a fixation of, of Donald Trump's and not yeah. a reality. But I guess it does exist now, right? Yeah. Biden decided he wasn't going to get rid of it, I guess. And here's yeah. something else you don't know. They had this on TV last night. Do you know that there's a space station up there the Chinese have? Yeah. They just put it up a few weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It's not open for takeout yet, though. Not open for takeout. <laughs> for delivery. Yeah. So where's the Space Force Academy? But they're going to send up a second one because with two, you get an egg roll. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. No, but they, look, they... Look, did you see the Republicans are in high umbrage because Joe Biden had the nerve to go golfing with his grandson yesterday? Yeah. Mm. Right. It was Father's Day. How dare he go golfing? What was wrong about him going golfing with his grandson? I don't know. It was at a public course. <laughs> yeah, and Trump had gone golfing like twenty six times between inauguration right. day and yeah, now. And, and, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, the Biden has gone golfing twice since inauguration. And day, this apparently. is the second time. Yeah. Well, they got upset because he didn't cheat when people weren't looking. Yeah. Why is it That's how golf is played? Who's the ball? Let me ask you, why is it expected of presidents that they play golf? I mean, what? Uh Biden play, plays golf, Trump played golf. Uh Eisenhower played golf. Uh, Obama Eisenhower played played Roosevelt, golf. not so much. Obama played golf. Yeah. <laughs> Obama played golf. <laughs> Roosevelt, not so much. Black people don't play golf, right? Yeah. Right. Obama played basketball. Obama played basketball. Yeah. yeah, he played basketball, but he also did some golf. He golfed. Yeah, but no other presidents play basketball. <laughs> Nixon had a pool. And well, Nixon had a bowling alley in the basement yeah. of the White House. Oh. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Didn't Nixon replace the bowling alley with the pool? No, he had the bowling alley. Somebody replaced either the pool with the It was the after bowling. Nixon they replaced it. Probably oh, right. Okay, they put it back and made it into a bowling alley. You're right. No, it was a bowling alley when Nixon was there, and then yeah. it became a whatever. A pool. A pool. <clears throat> One or the other. Uh, and, and what was the uh, the press room was something before it was the press room. I thought that was the pool. I thought that, that was might have been the pool. Yeah. 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 But uh, <laughs> yeah, but the man the man played golf on how dare he on Father's Day. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, they're complaining about everything. They, were they want him. They want him to take a competency test. Now. Yeah. yeah, Doctor Doctor Ronnie Graham or whatever his name is. Cognitive test. That lunatic. Yeah, he's the one that needs to take a competency test. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I think he should have given him something to think about and played something like Dungeons and Dragons or some yeah, video Mr. games. Or... The most healthy president we have ever seen in our lifetime. Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah, <laughs> they were they were giving him infinite shit just for expressing sadness about the dog dying. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, um, it's nice to know that uh, that uh, the Father's Day came and went. And how many of you here are fathers? Would you raise your hands? See. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Don't 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 you feel lonely, Marjorie? Don't we feel like we we haven't done our part to inseminate this planet? You're fine. Well, you don't know, Alex. Have you done that ancestry DNA thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, I may have a kid out there. I don't know. To this day, I don't know. Uh, but uh, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, Alex. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're my son, Daddy. No, there's a good chance, there's a good chance it's Howard Stern. <laughs> That's the problem. Well, listen, uh, this has been nice. Once again, uh, you know, I get blood drawn and then I come and talk to you people. <laughs> you know, which, uh, and I love both of them. I love getting blood drawn. You know. Actually, I've had so much blood drawn in my life. It doesn't even bother me anymore. You know, this is going to stick a little. Go ahead. That's what I say to all my girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, listen, Jackie, great seeing you this weekend. We're, we're going to do it again. You're looking fabulous and you're looking relaxed in your bedroom there, uh, which he never leaves. He never leaves that room. Edward, no, today I went down to the bank and I went over to the UPS store. Oh, this is an exciting life we live. Hmm? No, it was a big, big day. Yeah. Big day. And uh, there's, uh, there's, of course, Edward Berger. That's right. I gave green stamps, so you don't hear that much anymore. <laughs> really, you can make a fortune off that voice, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, Charlie Wallace, thank you. Thank you to Andrew Deutsch. You're always hilarious, Andrew. You make me laugh heartily. Uh, Len LaFrisco, these are the people who come here on the uh, on the show on, on Mondays, and it, uh, I hope you look forward to it, because I certainly do. Kathleen, of course, we always look forward to seeing you there. And you look so rested living up there in Guadalajara. It's such an easy life. I hate you for it. And uh, uh, Steve Bender, thank you, as always. Uh, as I say, well, I won't say it again. We have to get together. We're so I, I, I messaged you to try and arrange it. You didn't answer me. What, what did you do? I Facebook messaged you to what, try and arrange it. Really? I didn't get it. Do it again. Okay. 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 Do it again. And we will. We'll set it up. Wouldn't you like to go out to have lunch with Steve Bender? Uh, Absolutely. Steve? And and you're married, right, Steve? Yes, I want you. Yeah, to and his wife. Life. That would be very nice. Yes. Uh, Steve Bob, you're welcome here for lunch anytime. But of course, you're going to have to get all the way from Texas. <laughs> Same thing with Vernon Nunn, but he's going to get here from have to get here from what Kentucky. Yep. Yep, that's where he's calling from. Jeff Stein. Well, we're going. We do get together for lunch. And, hey, we got to do it now. I know. Now oh, I clear. I'm Let's do it clear. while you're in Georgia. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm screwed. With Mandy, there you go. Yeah, call Mandy up, and she can join us. Uh, and of course, uh, Brian Neary. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks, Thanks to all Alex. Us. What? Thank you. Thank you, dear. Uh, I hope I see you soon and that you haven't left me like in my dream last night. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that's it. Everybody wave goodbye and I'll, uh, I will, uh, we'll stop the live stream and uh, say goodbye to all the people. Thanks, Alex. Great to see you guys. <laughs>